Okay, fifth grade, and this is lesson 31, and this is about pairs of lines, okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is something called parallel lines. Do you remember what parallel lines are? Like the same? Okay, kind of. Okay, when I have a parallel lines, it means two lines that are right bes beside each other. It's the same length apart no matter what. Okay, so even if I have lines going this way, they're parallel because I have the same length apart going the whole time. Okay, so like if this is one inch, it's all the way one inch. Get it? They can even be like this. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you turn them or whatever, but these are all parallel. And the way I remember that is look at this. In the word parallel, the two L's in the middle are parallel. Okay? <laughs> Kind of cool? Okay, so that helps me. Now, if I have lines that cross each other, okay, those are called intersecting lines. Okay, when this line and this line cross, it means they intersect. That's what it's called, this word right here. Intersect. Okay, and guess what? Highways, when we go out and drive our car, highways are called intersections. And that's where two, two roads cross each other. It's called an intersection. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So that's what the word intersect means, okay? Now, I'm going to show you three pairs of intersecting lines. Okay. All three of these lines are, inter or three pairs of lines are intersecting, okay? These two are called oblique, oblique lines, okay? And oblique lines do not form square corners. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. They just cross. This one, the lines crossed, and it formed perfect square corners. Remember how I taught you that? You can even do an X, but do you see how this X, though, it still shows a perfect corner? See that? Uh -huh. So just because it looks like an X on these ones, this one is the only one that is um, has a perfect corner. And if they have a perfect corner, it's called perpendicular. Perfect, perpendicular. So I'm going to write that word down. Perpendicular. Okay? You might want to write these words down. Okay? Obliques are these ones. Perpendicular is that one and that one, okay? So, that'll help you. So, these are in intersecting lines. These ones are oblique, and these ones are perpendicular, okay? So, did you finish it? Mm -hmm. This is a big word. The way I remember it is perfect square corners, perpendicular. Got it. Got it? Okay. Now, so if I told, told you to draw two pair of oblique lines, what would you do? Um, draw two pair of oblique lines. Yeah, you just cross them, okay? But you need to make sure your corners aren't square, perfect squares, because that's what makes it um, perpendicular instead of oblique. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Now, sometimes the lines just connect and they don't cross, and that's okay. But A, B, C, or D, which one is not perpendicular? Some um, of the lines just touch, and that's okay. But which one is not perpendicular? B. Okay, keep looking. Let's look at them. I think it's D. Let's look at them. A, does that have a perfect corner? Um, yeah. Yes. So if I kept going with my lines, okay, that would be perpendicular, right? So this one is perpendicular. Let's try B. Is that a perfect square corner? Uh -huh. Yep. So even if I had these lines that kept going, this one would be perpendicular. 
C. Do I have a perfect square corner? No. Nope. Okay, wrong. And then D, do I have perfect square corners? Kind of. I'm going to do this. I kind of messed that one up. I can see why you thought it might have been D. Okay. Now, does it look like D? Uh-huh. Okay. D is now a perpendicular because it has perfect square corners. So, C is the one that would have been wrong. It's an oblique one, and these ones are perpendicular. So, the question was, which of the following figures does not appear to contain, to contain perpendicular segments? This one's the only one that doesn't have in segment means just a part of a line. Part of a line. Okay? Uh -huh. All right, that's lesson 31.